And I'm back. Okay. I just want to tell you guys about something that's on my mind. Something that my best friend, you know who you are, was saying to me when I was a little down and depressed. You know, you know how um, when you have... A person in your life, whether it be an old friend or a new friend or an old, my bad, I'm sorry, an old friend or a new friend or just a family member or whatever. And let's say that they come up. They, when I say come up, I mean they, their life starts to look up, meaning. They get a new car, they get a new house, they hit the lottery, or they they are graduating, getting these different degrees, or whatever, whatever the case may be. And they come around and they start trying to show off what they have. Or, they, okay, scenario, they, let's say you have a friend, and she, my hair looks so greasy, I am so sorry, this, I'm not even gonna edit this out, I don't even care, cause this is ridiculous, okay, so, (laughs) um, so you have a friend, and she, you know, she's a really cool friend, y'all, do a lot of things together. Y'all go out, hang out. Y'all been knowing each other for years. And she is basically on top of her game right now. And she, let's say she just got a new car, a new 2010 something. She just got her own place. She has three jobs. And she's just doing her thing, just feeling good. And has a, a man in her life and all this and all that. And she's never done this before, but she, let's say you are a college student and you don't have a job and your parents are still, um, basically supporting you financially and, you know, you're just living your life the way you want to live your life, basically. But to that friend... Let's say she looks down upon you because you're not doing as good as she is in her eyes. In her eyes, you're not doing as good and she kind of looks down on you. But for like the longest, they looked at you with envy because you had a cushier life than they did. Or something like that. This is a true story. This is my story. I am the girl who is a college student. I've never had a job. I, um, I'm i trying to find a job now. And my parents support me financially. I have a car, but it's, it was a high school graduation present. I'm a 2006 uh, Nissan Maxima. So, I mean... And I've never had to work or want for anything. I'm, I have a very cushy lifestyle because I am fortunate. But my friend, she dropped out of college. She went, she tried doing the whole working thing, got her own place. She messed up in life. While me, I had a cushier lifestyle and I never had to go through the problems she had to go through. So I was always looked at in a way of like envy. At the time, like, I, people were envious of me. And people would always try to talk like, girl, you know, we we know she got money. Miss 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 Big Ballin' over there, Um, my parents have money, I don't. Which was what people didn't never understood. Like, that pisses me off when people try to say I have money when I don't. Like, I struggle really just how they do. Now, this person who struggled back when now has all these jobs, new car, new place, they feel like that they're on top of their game and they try to throw shade at you or they try to say, how about you try to get out and find you a job or you 23 and never had no job and just, like, they're telling you this, like, you're talking to them about a job, they're telling you this, but you can hear in their voice in the way that they're saying it.
that I'm better than you. You're nothing. You're like, you're like a slacker to me. You don't even have a job. Like you can't hang with me type of thing. You know, like, I don't know if everybody, anybody has ever been through that, but I just went through that recently and the whole day it had me down. It had me down. I'm not going to lie. Like, cause it's just like, I've never, no one has ever made me feel this way before ever and I was just like wow like and it's just kind of like they they both like one of them was a really close friend of mine and one was just kind of an acquaintance and it just seemed like they both were just like had this type of something like this like they were better than me like they really thought they were better than me and trying to brag in a sense like my homegirls over here telling me about one of her dude friends and how good things were going and I was like, man, I don't have that and blah, blah, blah. I was kind of like, I could see, like, it was some type of victory feeling like, yes, I am better than you because I'm experiencing and you don't. Like, just this feeling of I'm better. Like, I'm, we all get that. It's just human nature. We all have that feeling, but it's not right. It's not right, especially when you do it on purpose. Um, You should never make anyone feel inferior and because you're not superior now with all this said I want to tell you guys who maybe who have been through this before um something that my friend told me and I'm about to read the text message if I can find it I found it okay my bad okay It says the minor success and she has okay. Basically he was saying that that's minor success at this point. It's minor success and when people get minor success they think they're doing big things and try to throw it in your face. Um, then he goes on to say she has more responsibility and obligations. A nigga plus on place equals a baby which equals slows down life. That's not the good part. It was just kind of funny. He was just being ridiculous, but um, but basically, I think what he was trying to say is when people think they're on top of the game, you 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 fall you it's it's more easier to fall harder because you get at this this peak. And you feel like you're doing big things. And once you feel like you're doing big things, you kind of tend to get comfortable or relax. And then you can stumble and make mistakes. And then all that's over with. I think that's who I was trying to say. But that's not the message I'm trying to give, send, get across. Um, he said, she can't judge your life based on, on hers. That's not cool. Which is right. You can't compare yourself to anyone else. You are your own person. You should judge your success on what makes you happy. Um, he says, success is being comfortable at where you are, not basing it off others. Although it is a blessing that you came this far, others died, gave up, etc. And what he's saying is, um, like he said, success is being comfortable where you are. Say that I have a goal to graduate undergrad and be successful with my bachelor's degree that is my success that is what I want now if someone else wants to go further education and get their master's degree and be successful with that that is their own success they have no right to look down on someone who just has a master's degree because that is what they wanted to do I mean someone who has their bachelor's degree that's what they want to do that's just like someone with their doctorate degree looking on, down on someone with their master's degree. Oh, I have my doctorate. You're nothing because you just have your master's. That's nothing. You shouldn't do that because your success is based on what you want to do. Now, let's say you didn't go to college. Now, now with now me, I'm about to finish my undergrad. My friend who made me feel this way, she dropped out of co out of college. She couldn't cut it. She was failing her classes and all, and she went to um one of these little like like DeVry type of schools, DeVry Kaplan, um, one of these tech schools. And she graduated from that and so on and so forth. Now in some people's eyes, that's not like, oh, you graduated from those schools, I graduated from a university. Now I could be that way, but I feel like that's not right at all, you know? 
but she's I'm I I applaud her in her success because she's come a long way. But don't come at me and try to make me feel some type of way. And then the acquaintance was like, "What happened to you being on your day?" Because I've gained quite a bit of weight, quite a bit of weight, quite a bit of weight. If y'all look at my videos around this time last year or towards like fall time last year, I was way smaller than I am now. And this is around the time when I met the girl who said this to me. She was like, what happened to you being on your diet? You Aren't you on like some grapefruit diet? And it was basically a blow at me like you're gaining too much weight. You're fat and you need to lose that type of thing. And then my other friend was just doing like, like, so, oh, this, uh, we're about to uh, go out to eat. So what are you going to do today? I was like, oh, I really don't know. Uh, I was supposed to go to class today, but I missed class. She was like, oh, well, maybe you should put in some job applications. I was like, I am. I'll probably get on the computer and put in some job applications. Uh, on the computer, you need to get out and go places and this, that, and the other. What? Don't come at me like that. First of all, people don't even take face-to-face -face job applications like they used to anymore. They will send you right to that computer and say you can fill out an application online. Don't do that. And that's what happened. And I was just like, what? At first, it was just like, I was like for real and then it kind of got to me because I am a sensitive person but then when I got to thinking about it you know you know but basically what I want to say is you are blessed to be where you are now you are blessed to be at the stage you're at now, if you are are graduating high school, you are blessed. If you are getting your GED, you are blessed. You are doing something with your life. Never compare yourself to anyone else. Compare yourself against your own self. Set goals based on what you want to do, not what the next person is doing. Because you'll be unhappy if you do that. Never compare yourself with anyone else. With that said, I hope y'all take that message with y'all throughout your whole life. And I guarantee you'll be so much happier. Never, ever, ever let anyone else make you feel like you are nothing or unsuccessful in life. Because you are just as, as successful as you want to be. This is.